Welcome to Gospel World. Gospel World is an apostolic movement to take over the media's influence and set men on fire for God. We brings you edified messages, prophetic chants, power-packed articles, soaking worship songs, and lots more. Connect with us with Gospel World on our other social media platforms. Thank you. Everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient. Let me repeat. Everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient. You have not found a condition that makes it obedient. Everything. If resources disobey you, they have ever been obedient. Provided they came from God, disobedience cannot come from God. Everything needed for life and godliness that came from God is still obedient. Your assignment is to understand the condition that activates that obedience. This is the assignment of the word of God. And this is the assignment of that enforcer called the power of God. So as the word of God comes, I have taught you here that the assignment of the anointing, the energy, the power of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit has no assignment if the word of God has not gone forth. Because the anointing is merely an enforcer and a confirmer. That means that if God says, let healing happen, the anointing moves to make what he said come to pass. Are we together now? This is why words are powerful. Look how I'm, listen, listen. This thing I'm teaching you is an office. I'm not just teaching you an information I learned somewhere. There are people sick right now as I'm talking. They are still feeling the pain. There are people oppressed. You wouldn't believe the kind of back, the, the truckload of demonic spirits oppressing people. They are hearing me as I'm talking now. I mean the spirits now. And yet they will not go. Why? Because what I'm saying is not the word that sends them yet. You see. Hmm. So when words now come. Kalipa kura when words come what do they do the holy spirit rides on those words into your destiny and conditions start changing and sometimes the conditions change so fast i'm saying this so that you will believe if not you will not be able to receive anything apostle as it is right now i'm feeling this pain yes you are right because there is a condition that keeps it there but do you believe that with one word something comes into your body there's something called anesthesia is that true an anesthesia i forgive me doctors forgive me oh the doctor is not here do you know that there they can give someone that injection and in a moment you will not feel pain around that area again for some hours am i correct on that what did the injection do thank you but you know the pain will come later on it's just that it's not needed for that time if science can be that fast and accurate that you inject someone immediately and you can even be carrying out the surgical procedure and the person is looking at you what happens when the word of god now comes into that system Don't ask how will the eye condition go. Don't ask and, and don't think that this thing is on faking of. No. We are talking the word of God here. So you came as a whole family. Apostle we don't even know what the. We don't know what is wrong with us. We just know that things are not working. Welcome. You are in the right place. You are in the right place. So when that word is sent, the word of God comes and starts looking at your entire family. And with digital precision, okay, failure, disfavor, yokes, immediately, in seconds, it diagnoses it. But it does not stop there. It will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go and the impact is so powerful i am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground 
I didn't push you up. I'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit and it comes like a plane landing on your destiny. Listen, I'm not just entertaining you. We are going to pray. But beloved people, listen. The supernatural is real. Conditions can change. Let me repeat myself. Conditions can change. When people reject you, they are not rejecting you. There is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you. When you are failing and fa he fails. Man of God, you may be in ministry. No increase, no results. Respectfully speaking, there may be a condition. But when God speaks, he said, let there be and there was he said let it change that's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies you think joshua selman in his power and strength is able to do this no 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 but i know this mighty god not only because he appeared to me i know when jesus appeared to me i told him to enter i don't even know how he entered the door is just for you he entered anyhow don't ask how it will he will enter your body no the doctors will say lie down and they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you but the holy ghost oh come on please 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 when i ask you to lay your hands it's only a point of contact to help you not help god Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered the womb of Mary. He did not appear as bread and said, eat and it's me. No, no. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered back into Jesus to resurrect him back to life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now hear me please. Everyone, I want you to look at the condition you have now. Because that is really what we have come to deal with. We, you call it sickness you call it delay you call it failure you call it confusion god calls it conditions abuja is a good land your territory is a good land but it does not mean you will just be blessed like that there is a condition you can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome what does it mean to encounter god it means to have an encounter that changes your conditions please find a way of believing what i'm telling you so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation i'm having hiv i'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder working power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of god when it was time for jesus to resurrect the dead he said lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is lazarus here you are the one come out i was sent to bring you out the powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if God speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name Lord just speak that's all I want let me hear what you are saying and let it dare relate to my situation I will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of god comes because i'm about to pray for you now 
you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no i am only the voice echoing that word that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace i may not know your conditions how do i stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the holy ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused god is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking jesus here benny Hinn calls the holy spirit the unlimited presence of jesus i believe in miracles i believe that a condition you came with you actually can leave it there yes so when prayers are going on don't just be looking at other people if you are sick in your body you must believe that i'm ready to be healed you have some lump some growth don't sit down and say how will it disappear i've taught you it's just an interplay of energy and matter it is true some terminal disease hiv whatever blood condition maybe genotype whatever it is don't say god cannot heal you you're here you have all kinds of bone conditions don't sit back and say look at the size of my bone can i walk brothers and sisters we are talking the lord jesus christ here exalted as both lord and christ how about impartations some of you are in their need of many graces graces that create new conditions you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and i'm telling you in the presence of god that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition